All right, welcome, welcome back to Heavy Rain. Um. All right, so this is supposed to be the. Body was found here on this patch of wasteland early this morning. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has spoken to yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of All right. Everyone's wondering if From what I remember, I thought Shelby, the uh, big guy that we were just um, working with, the zone is was... Off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I thought the other guy was supposed to be the... the the um the detective wait let me can I go back actually I think can you go back or is that a thought of mine let me see I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake is he around I saw him arrive earlier he's here somewhere thanks well I thought Shelby was a detective but apparently not I forgot about this guy Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. I don't think I mentioned in this, uh, in this walkthrough that I've, I've seen someone, uh, play this before. Years ago, but I never played it myself, so I don't know. There's a lot of things that I probably won't remember. We looked over here, so can we check the what is this? Oh, to take off the glasses. I right, put them back on. That's right. Oh, shit. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Nam and Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. <laughs> Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? <laughs> yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest! Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. I don't know. He seems fishy to me. Let's finish what I was doing. What's his... Let me see. Ah. 
so there's a lot of footprints. That could be anybody's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Great. Um, check over here. Okay. All right, let's keep going this way. Let's check by the um. Train tracks. Wait, oh. Oh. No. Harry Common, traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Up, oh, wait. Harry Common, traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Now, I don't know how I'm going to upload these because this game isn't, like, like, um, separated into, like, missions or anything, from what I could tell. So, we'll see how it goes. I have to go to work soon so hopefully I can get a good amount of footage today. Is there anything over here? Did they tell you if you're missing um missing evidence? I have a feeling I probably <laughs> will Oh 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 shit Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Policemen have to wear a certain type of shoe? Is it that easy? Wait, ooh, I'm not even scanning. Hold on. I think, wait. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Um... What was that? Hold on. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Alright, so let me check over here. Wait, go back. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same as on the tracks. No. 
His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. I think that's it. Let me double check. I don't see anything. Alright, let's get up. Oh, no, let me let me double check before I'm I... back to the office. You stay in No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Oh 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 I must miss that. Unrelated to the investigation. Alright, let me double check. Anything over here? Hopefully that's it. Hopefully I'm not... Ooh, I could question them. Hold on. Let's see. Lousy weather, huh? Is it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but... Who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden. FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Well, aren't you useless? Anything? Quality? Oh shit, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wait, can I go this way? Oh, they're gonna turn me around. Let me see. I look like they turned me around. Um. Ooh. Harry Common. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Oh shit, alright. Uh, triangle. I won. I won. X. Oh shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I let go of the wrong one. Alright, let's try again. Right, circles, triangle. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Circle. <laughs> Triangle. I go circle, then R1. Oh, almost there. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm glad when they asked me if I wanted to stay or leave, and I said leave, that I was still able to look around really quickly. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Object memorized. <laughs> Ari, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. I'm glad he said that. Can we go back this way? I know. Do we really have to maneuver our way back down? I see. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> oh no 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 <gasps> Oh uh, whatever Alright so let me leave now cause I think we got everything Right, let's head back to the car. I want to say an insect. An insect. I don't know. Uh, what would a rat? A rat. A rat's head. Crab. A crab. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. 
Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. <laughs>